Hi there, my name is Chris, sales manager for Sony Vision in Bolton. We're looking at two new models today from Panasonic. The model numbers are the TXL24 C3 and the TXL32 C3. So two screen sizes there, 24 and 32 inch. The model we're showing here is the 32 inch version. Now they are three differences between these two models. First of all, the power consumption. 52 watts on the 24 inch, 73 watts on the 32 inch. You've also got on the 32 inch a IPS LCD panel, which gives you a slightly greater angle of view. So you're looking at a viewing angle of up to 178 degrees on this model without any picture fade and up to 170 degrees on the 24 inch version. You've also got a slight difference in the sound output. It's 10 watts per channel on the 32 inch and 5 watts per channel on the 24 inch. So those are your three differences on the two models. Basically the power consumption, the angle of view on the panel and the slightly higher power output on the sound itself on the 32 inch. Now both TVs have got Freeview HD tuners built into them so you can get BBC, ITV and Channel 4 in high definition. So with the remote control, it's the same remote that you get on both models. As we flick through the channels there, you've got channel 52, which is channel 4 HD. You've then got ITV HD on 51 and BBC HD on channel 50. So free HD content just from your normal standard TV aerial, as long as they are broadcasting this service in your region. Now, there's not many 24-inch TVs out there which have got the latest Freeview HD tuners. They may have Freeview, but not Freeview HD. So the 24-inch version of this uh, is one of the few TVs out there which have got the Freeview HD tuner as well. Now, before we go into the menus and take a greater look at the, uh, the on-screen facilities on this TV, we're going to take a quick look at the sockets on the rear of the panel. So we've got an Ethernet port, uh, which is for any firmware updates that may uh, happen along the way, so you can update the TV um, through the Ethernet port. Your coaxial aerial socket, so it's got a Freeview HD tuner. Uh, you've also got two HDMIs on the back of the TV, of which uh, the second HDMI here has also got the uh, audio return control. So if you are uh, connecting this to a AV amp with HDMI on, you can take the audio feed from the TV back to the amplifier. If you've not got that facility, you've also got uh, optical out uh, on the set itself, so you can feed the, the sound out of the TV via the uh, digital optical connection here. You've then got component and composite uh, video inputs on here. A lot of games consoles, uh, such as Wii games consoles, can use composite or components. And you've got the audio input uh, for those sockets as well. Single SCART on the back of the TV. And on the side of the set, you've got an SD card reader. So if you've got a digital still camera or video camera with any footage on, pop your card in here, you can have the footage on screen. Headphone socket just underneath. And you've also got a common interface slot for any pay-per-view uh, pay material as well. The uh, wall fixings on the 32 inch version are 200mm by 200mm. Okay, so the TV itself is finished in this high gloss piano black finish. Um, I said the TV base uh, can be removed so you can wall mount it itself and the speakers are located just underneath the TV. Uh, you've got manual sockets, or sorry, manual controls just on the side here so if you want to adjust anything such as the volume, contrast, colour, brightness, it can all be done manually on the TV itself as well as with obviously the remote control. So let's take a closer look at some of those uh, menus on the TV. On the remote control uh, with the Panasonic you've got a button here which says menu. It's a very simple straightforward menu system to work through on the Panasonic's as well. Picture is highlighted in yellow. We press OK on the remote control. We're going to be using up, down, right and left here on the keypad. When we press OK, it puts us into the picture menu. First of all, we've got view viewing mode which says normal. As we click through that to the right, you've got cinema, true cinema, dynamic, and back to normal. As we change through those, uh, you'll see the picture altering slightly for contrast and brightness settings. You can go into any one of those settings manually, just highlight the one you want to adjust, press OK, and then you can adjust accordingly using the up or left or right key on the remote control. As we come further down that scale, uh, you've got other options on here, things like uh, noise reduction systems, where if you are getting any sort of grain or noise in the image, you can actually switch the noise reduction systems on to mid uh, or minimum or max to reduce some of that noise in the picture itself. As we go further down that scale, you've got uh, advanced settings as well. Uh, on there at the moment, it's on 16.9 overscan. You can probably see the picture changing in, sli in size slightly on screen there. Uh, as you move the overscan on or off as well. So different settings that you can make to the TV picture itself. 
as we come out of that menu and drop down to sound, you've got various adjustments in the sound menu as well. The menu systems on the 32 are exactly the same as what you would get on the 24. Now you've got adjustments for music or speech. You've also got a user menu as well. So in music or speech, you've got the standard adjustments for bass or treble. If you go into the user menu, you've got a little bit more variation where it gives you access to an equalizer where you can alter at the far end there the bass adjustments. As you move along then, you've got adjustments then for the mid range where the vocal center come in and then for the high frequencies for the top end of the treble as well. So a bit more variation over the tone rather than just bass or treble. And then you've got surround off or the audio surround where it'll attempt to throw the sound out at a wider angle to give you a, a bigger sound stage uh, for whatever you're listening to on there as well. Depending on how you have this TV, whether you've got it pedestal mounted or wall mounted, it's also important to set the distance either over 30 centimeters from the wall or up to 30 centimeters of the wall to uh, achieve the correct sound from the TV set itself. You've also got, when we were in the picture menu before and we were looking at the um, settings from the manufacturer in the viewing mode, I said you've got normal cinema, true cinema, dynamic and back to normal. If you are gaming on this TV, uh, so if you're using it for a PS3 or Xbox or any games console, if you go into the AV menu, which is the button that's up here, it'll put up all the different socket arrangements on the screen. So if you've got, a, say, a PS3 or an Xbox connected into HDMI 1, if we go back into that menu system for the picture settings now, we'll find an additional menu. So there's dynamic, normal, cinema, true cinema, but we've now got game mode as well. If you select game mode when you're gaming on this TV, you'll get basically uh, an increase in which the TV operates at. So the speed is increased, so you'll get basically quicker image response for when you are gaming on the TV. So you've got that option in there as well. So as I said, you've got a TV here which is um, HD ready. It's got a Freeview HD tuner built in to give you uh, things like um, Channel 4 HD, ITV HD, and BBC One HD just from your standard TV aerial. If you'd like to have more details on this set, I would say please give me a call. My name is Chris on 01204 861 861. Or call into one of our stores. Uh, we've got uh, Sound Vision stores in Bolton and in Leeds where this product is on demonstration. Or go through to our website at soundinvision.co.uk. There's hundreds of video clips on there. Not just on TVs, but on amplifiers, speaker systems, home theatre systems, to give you a closer look at the product itself. But please give me a call or pop into one of our stores. Thank you.